Hey guys, it's Drummond. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you know whenever I'm posting my next video. So today's video is going to be about playing the game of chase. So when it comes to dating, I feel like a lot of people are under the assumption that you have to chase someone if you love them. And it's all about this game of running away and chasing somebody. But honestly, in my opinion, I feel like when it comes to chasing, I feel like a lot of times people misinterpret someone who's running away as someone who wants them to chase them. But a lot of times it's that person not being interested and not being the type of person that can tell you, hey, I'm not interested. So a lot of people start to chase that person and they're like, oh, this person wants me to show that I'm interested. But in the end, that person just really wants you to leave them alone. So I've been in a lot of different scenarios where the guy is just not interested. And in the past, I just kept telling myself, oh, this person is just busy. Oh, this person is just seeing what else is out there. Oh, this person just has a life and just is trying to fit me into it. But honestly, when it comes to someone who's actually interested in someone, they're going to make sure that they have the time for you. And when you're in a relationship with someone, you kind of want it to be a mutual thing. You don't want that person to be the person that's always running. But then on the flip side, you want to realize that a lot of times if you make yourself too available too quickly, you kind of scare people off with how clingy you become. Remember, when you first start dating someone, you are adding yourself to their life that was pretty much already packed full with stuff that was going on in their life currently. So when it comes to you becoming a part of their life, it's going to be a slow thing. It's going to be something that you slowly have to become part of their life. It's not, okay, you're supposed to give up all your free time and you're supposed to spend it with me. I know that when it comes to my life and my relationships, a lot of times the guys don't understand that I also have friends, I also have family, I have a job, I have a YouTube channel. There's lots of things that I have to do that doesn't require them to be around, but I would love to slowly integrate them into my life. But a lot of times guys are just like, you need to be a part of my life, you need to spend all this time with me. There has definitely been some people that eventually just kind of push themselves out of my life, or I guess I could say they were a little bit too clingy and forceful when it came to spending time with me that I kind of pushed them out of my life. So I guess what I'm trying to say is there is pretty much a healthy balance of when it comes to being a little bit too aggressive at trying to spend time with someone and trying to chase them. I've talked to a lot of different people where they're like, oh, they seem so interested in the beginning and now they're just kind of like pushing me off. In those situations, you really just have to feel it out and kind of put it into the grander scale of things. I know that there was one person who had just started talking to me and we went on a date and then after the date, I wasn't able to text as much because I had to work for the rest of the week. Whereas the first couple of days that we were talking were on the weekend and he was just like, you've changed, you're different. And I'm like, honestly, you don't know me enough to be able to say that I've changed as a person. I'm just busy this week and I was actually interested in getting to know him more, but he started to become a lot more aggressive in saying that he needed more time. And I'm like, honestly, when it comes to my job, I can't sit there on my phone. I'm in front of several different people training and I can't just sit there texting people while I'm working. So you have to realize and put it into scale and say, was this person changing or is this person just busy? I know that I've talked to several different people and they were saying, oh, this person isn't interested in me anymore. And I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, on Monday, they were really talkative. And then on Tuesday, they just haven't talked to me at all. And I'm like, wow. So on the grand scheme of things, you are comparing one day to another. Whereas I would say you'd probably want to compare maybe like a week span or maybe a month span. So like if you've talked to someone for a month and every single day they're just very talkative and just want to hang out with you all the time and then like there comes a month where it's complete opposite maybe at that point you can say hey this person is acting differently but i really don't think that you can talk about someone being different if you've only hung out with them for a day or a couple of days or a week just because you don't know that person's schedule and honestly i even feel like a month is kind of a short period of time to judge someone's like availability just because maybe one month they're not as busy at work and the next month they are. I know that in the scale of retail, uh, holiday season is coming up so everyone's going to become a lot more busy and a little bit more drained when it comes to what they do after work. So yeah, just be careful of what you are assuming when you meet someone and how much time you're spending with them, but also be aware that when it comes to the game of chase, 
Most of the time, people aren't running to be chased. They are running because they are not interested. And if you do end up finding someone who's interested in the game of chase, make sure that you haven't found someone that just is trying to get your attention and is doing it to multiple different people. A lot of times when I meet guys that are interested in having someone chase them, meaning they never text first, uh, you have to pretty much plan everything. A lot of times in those situations, those types of guys are getting lots of different people to chase them just because they love the attention that they get from other people. There's definitely a lot of people out there that are like that, and I just wanna make sure that you guys aren't falling for those people. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go follow me on my other social medias. I've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and hopefully you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.